Well, you might have seen the headlines about Java late last week. Well, late last night, the company that makes the software released a patch to help protect millions of computers. In this week's Compute This, the importance of installing that patch as soon as possible and what could happen if you don't. And Thor Schrock is our go-to guy for all stuff related to tech. Good to see you, Thor. See you hey, Thor. Too. So I don't know how I'm going to follow up that last segment. I mean, that was that was <laughs> Which that was part? amazing. Just uh, be a little better behaved than he was <laughs> at least there toward the end. Hey, you never know. Uh, let's start with the problem. What exactly, Java? What's the deal with this? Okay. Well, what happens is Java is a piece of software that just about everybody has on their computer. Uh, it allows the internet to do cool automatic things. Like, for example, if you go to a restaurant website and you know, have you ever seen those meal calculators where you can just add things to your meal and it tells you how many calories it is? That's Java where it just calculates, you don't have to click submit and then wait for the page to load, it just does it. Yeah. Well, without Java, those things won't work. Well, there's a vulnerability that has been discovered in the Java operating, or not the operating, in the Java software that runs on just about every PC on the planet. Mac users don't have to worry about this right now. Um, so if you have a PC at home with Java, you have this vulnerability, or you may still have this vulnerability, that could allow an attacker to take complete control over your computer, run any program that they want to. So. For example, uh, ZDNet, an online news source for, uh, for computer news, um, did a test where they actually were able to launch the calculator. They exploited it on someone's computer in the mm. office and launched the calc. Well, you know, I know you're probably not too concerned about the bad guys launching calc so they can balance their checkbook, but on the other hand, uh, they can use that same, that same ability to figure out mm -hmm. what antivirus software you have, if any and then send you to a website that has an automated attack that will bypass your, your antivirus and infect you with a real virus. I know we have a lot of other questions to get to. One of my questions about Department of Homeland Security yes. and why they were the ones to come out ahead of this thing on Thursday. Well, you know, the, the first instruction was take off your shoes. The next instruction was to <laughs> right. step into the backscatter shower. Yeah, this isn't what we're up. used to out of, out yeah. of DHS. But uh, no, actually they came out and said disable it and their concern wasn't the individual user. Uh, they're concerned with more corporate users because if you can launch a program in a corporate network, you can steal information from a corporate network. You could tell a computer to send an email and attach a bunch of files and do all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, hey, businesses, turn off Java right now because this is, a, this is an exploit. And right now it's being, as we say, in the wild. It's being used in the wild by the bad guys to do those things. So Homeland Security came out and said, turn off your Java. And then you, know, you could imagine if you're a company that makes a piece of software and the Department of Homeland Security comes out mm -hmm. and says, Turn it all off. Don't use yeah. that software. Mm -hmm. You're going to patch it really quick. Now, really quick could mean a week. Really quick could mean two weeks. Last night, 60 Minutes did a, a piece on this problem. Uh, you know, 6 o'clock is when that airs usually our time. Uh, by 8 o'clock, 8.45 Eastern time, so I don't know if that comes out to be about 45 minutes later, uh, there was a patch from Oracle, and then the news ran that night with a story on the, the ooh, the Java vulnerability after the patch had already run. After the patch. Yeah. So, you know, you talk about this all the time, antivirus and protecting yep. your computer. Mm -hmm. Will your antivirus programs uh, uh, prevent the vulnerability? That's a great question. And the way I best describe this is a vulnerability isn't a virus. So if you think about when you get a shot, the syringe doesn't help you and it only hurts a little. You know, it doesn't help you, it doesn't hurt you. It's the medicine in the syringe that can help or hurt you. And so this vulnerability, this Java vulnerability is like a syringe and whatever medicine the bad guys stick in that syringe is what, what nabs you. So your antivirus software is not designed to protect you against vulnerabilities. It's designed to, to protect you against viruses, antivirus. And so what happens is if the bad guys choose to inject a virus that your antivirus can protect you against, harmless. It, you, you won't get hit. But if it's a brand new virus, what the bad guys will do a lot of times is take a brand new vulnerability and couple it with a brand new virus. Mm -hmm. And that's how they get maximum benefit. Uh, and they have an event horizon. They know they're only going to have a few days to exploit this before it's patched. So they, they go, you know, go 60 on it as fast as they can to make sure they get your, as many computers infected as possible. I think a lot yeah. of us are skeptics, and I know you're not a hype guy. <laughs> so when you come to us and you say, this is important, can you explain just how serious it is? This is as, as serious as it gets. This is a $200 repair bill if you get hit. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your computer. You know, once you're infected with something, if the bad guys do shoot something into your computer, you can't install antivirus or anti-malware software at that point. And your computer is marked as infected for all time. When these guys infect a computer, they keep a list of all the IP addresses they've been able to infect, and then they sell these lists. They trade them back and forth. And so then you're identified as an easy mark. You're going to get hit with virus after virus after wow. virus 
for the rest of eternity. So it's really important you keep your computer safe and get this patch. Yeah, the patch though, it comes with some steps. You have to go through a process to get this patch downloaded to your PC. Is it a difficult process? What's, well, what's the process? There's a couple ways you can do it. Um, you know, we have the information up at uh, facebook.com slash Shrock Innovations. You can check it out there. Uh, you go to the Java website, you download the latest Java installation, you install it, you know, you click yes, you click allow, and everything is fine with the world. Or the second way you can do it is through our Secure Updater software. Secure Updater is a program that automatically, if you have Secure Updater, if you're a subscriber, like I think you are, Mike, or you have Mac, so it's Mary that's a subscriber because it doesn't work on Mac. If you have Secure Updater, what ends up happening is Secure Update, we released this patch last night mm -hmm. about 30 minutes after it came out by Oracle, and all of our subscribers got it this morning. So if you have Secure Updater, either the trial or a paid subscription, you are patched, you're good to go. I mentioned there's a trial subscription. If you don't have Secure Updater right now, you can go to secureupdater.com, install that one file on your computer, and it will patch not only Java, but all like 26, 27 other programs on your computer like Flash and Adobe Reader and all these things that everybody has that, that need to be patched regularly. It'll do all that for you, and it's free for 14 days. So take advantage of that free trial. If you like it, you can buy it, but take advantage of the free trial. Yeah. All right, at least to get you through this Java mess right now. So SchrockInnovations.com is the website. What's the website just for Secure Updater? SecureUpdater.com. Okay. Very tricky. easy, right? Very tricky. Yeah. Three and locations. SchrockInnovations.com is the website that you go to. Mm -hmm. Like Mary said, three locations. Uh, one in Omaha, one in Papillion, and one in Lincoln. You That's got right. it. And there's the addresses right there for Papillion and Lincoln coming up as well. Thor, good stuff. And, you know, I know a lot of people are still going through this process of figuring out how to get that update. Yeah. Um, Some people may still be trying to turn their Java off. Well, now you don't have <laughs> right, to turn right. it off. Just get or, you know, update. right well, before our segment, they probably got it turned it. off. And What's now, funny is Mary and Vicaro right. was leaving saying, listen, I want to know what you have to say. This is something that affects millions of people, so I think a lot of us are going to be if all If you have a computer, this hits you. I mean, that's, right. that's literally where it comes down. So. Mac users, Mac, Apple automatically disabled Java, and it will automatically re-enable as soon as you have the patch installed. But anything yeah. else, secureupdater.com, at least for that free trial. Thank you, Thor. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Thor, Thank appreciate you. it. Good to see you. If you caught Friday's blend, you might have seen comedian Reno Collier. We asked him about Bigfoot, and he admitted that he's a little, he's a little skeptical. Do you believe? Do you believe Bigfoot? in Bigfoot? I, I watched the Finding Bigfoot show. You'll love this. Yes. So if you watch, like Thor, they if you never watch find one, though. Finding Bigfoot, then you've seen researcher Cliff Berrickman. My conversation with Cliff starts in less than three minutes. So Thor, if you want to yeah, hang, hang around for that right. one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.